Hey everyone, it's Ryan Scotty here from Collision Drumsticks and I'm here in beautiful Bali, Indonesia for a little bit of work and play. And before I play my gig tonight, I thought it would take a great opportunity to do a video here in the beautiful jungle that is Bali. So full disclosure, this is nothing that's completely original or new. This is just a warm up that has been really, really dependable for me. And so I'm gonna break down what it really is, how it helps warm up your hands, and why I like to use it. The specific exercise that I'm gonna break down today consists of two paradiddle diddles followed by a single paradiddle. Now most drummers already know that a paradiddle, the diddle in the paradiddle stands for a double stroke. So if you were just simply say it in terms of a paradiddle, it's paradiddle, right? Paradiddle. And that helps you to warm up alternating hands in terms of both singles and double strokes. So it's slowly two paradiddle diddles followed by a single paradiddle. So saying it while playing it, paradiddle diddle, paradiddle diddle, paradiddle. What that sets up is your off hand or your non-dominant hand to start the compound rudiment over. So again, going slow. And then we start it over. What starts to happen on all of the single stroke accents is we get a little bit of this triplet feel. If I were to say the triplet as I'm playing it, triple let, triple let, triple let, triple let. So that's the kind of aim or focus that we're going for, is to be really dominant with your single strokes, make those stand out, while gaining more control with your double strokes and not really picking up the stick away from the drum head, or in my case, the drum pad. The reason that I really, really like this warm up is it helps you to really warm up the muscles both in your hands and in your wrists. With the single stroke accents, we want more of that up motion from your wrist to be able to be more forceful with the stick as it comes down. That being said, try to avoid moving your forearm or from your elbow. Keep your wrists in one area and try to focus just on the mobility from that joint with your single strokes. And when you're rolling with your double strokes, try to really focus on finger control, specifically from your thumb and pointer finger. Thank you so much for watching. My name's Ryan Scotty. As always, be sure to follow me at ryan.scotty and also Collision Drumsticks. These are videos to help you impact your sound, develop better technique, and overall just become a better drummer, better performer. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time for the next tip.